Blender 4.2 LTS is here with incredible updates that you won't want to miss. From EV's massive overhaul to game-changing optimizations in cycles. Let's dive in. Now, if you want to try the latest features, grab the release candidate right now from Blender's Daily Builds, and the link for that is in the description. Now, Blender 4.2 being an LTS version means it's long-term support, so if you're working on a bigger project, this is a great time to upgrade because you know that this version of Blender is going to be supported for the next two years. And this is going to ensure stability and support in the long run. Now, when it comes to your old files, I'd recommend backing up before opening and saving in 4.2 there is a chance that something breaks, as is always the case whenever there's a major version change. Some things will always require fixing. So let's talk about Eevee. It's had this huge overhaul and let's explore what's new. The out of the box performance is absolutely brilliant. You don't need to tweak too much, especially if your scenes in the past have been simple. Now there are some notable changes. The top five for me is Bloom is now a compositor feature. You don't have to toggle that on the render settings anymore. It's now integrated into the compositor. Global illumination is finally here, and what that basically means, it enhances the realism of your scenes by simulating how light bounces off of surfaces. So no longer do you have to set up fake lighting in order to light your model realistically. The light limit has increased. Now I will admit I never really ran into an issue of 128 lights in a scene before, but if you work on a much larger scale, that's gone from 128 to 4096, and that should cover most large scenes that you're ever going to be working on. There are now automatic shadow settings. No longer do you have to dive in and adjust the quality of the shadows depending on what type of light you have. It's now automatically set up far better for anybody diving in. And finally, the shared motion blur settings. No longer do Cycles and Eevee have separate settings. They're now unified for consistency across the render engines. Let's move on from Eevee to Cycles. Cycles gets even better. Here are my top four features. The first one, Ray Portals. I'm really looking forward to this as it's going to enable us to do some really cool visual effects and almost have, as the name suggests, a portal into another scene or another world. It's going to be absolutely awesome for anything sci-fi. Second one is Thin Film. This adds a realistic thin film for interface effects. Great for soap bubbles, oil slicks and things like that. The third one, improved denoising, cleaner renders with less noise. I'm a huge fan of denoising. It means you're going to be able to render that higher quality image with less time spent rendering. And finally, those shared motion blurred settings with Eevee. It means that I can flip between these two render engines and get much more consistency across my projects. A quick one here, if you're enjoying the content, a like would be appreciated and subscribe for more updates when Blender 4.2 LTS is fully released. Okay, let's get on to the compositor. The compositor packs a punch with GPU acceleration. GPU acceleration just basically means things are faster again. A lot of this update is about speed and efficiency with all the background stuff that goes on. And that means that compositing is going to be a lot faster by taking advantage of your GPU. I love the inclusion of anything that has statistics associated with it. So you can see the impact something is making on your scene. Execution time overlay is incredibly useful. It means if you add a particular node into the scene that's causing the render to take a lot longer, you can see that effect. You can see how long it it's taking. Now we can't miss this one. There is a new bloom mode within the glare node. This is how we've always had bloom when it comes to cycles. We used to use fog glow, but there's this new bloom mode. And this is where you'll find bloom now when it comes to EV as well. And a little bit of a breaking change here, the viewport compositing, so you can see live what you're doing, is now limited to the camera's view for better performance. For a list of the full changes, do check out the link in the description. Now, I'm a big fan of Python and I do a lot of optimization myself to my own workflows. However, there are a few notable API changes. There's a new extensions platform. So if you're an add-on developer, add-ons are getting a makeover. Add-on is still there. However, there's going to be a new way of extending the functionality of Blender and those are called extensions. And that will change how add-ons work moving forward. Now, be aware of changes that may break your old code, especially with the EV render. With EV now, becoming EV next there are some deprecated features and I won't bore you here with all the details however again there's a link in the description where you can find out a detailed list of blender python api changes 
Now, if you've not upgraded Blender in a while, the full version of 4.2 is only a couple of days away from being released, but I found the release candidate incredibly stable and lots of fun to use. So dive in straight away. And if you're looking for something else to watch next, check out this.